Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something, and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of Lovin'. Apparently. Apparently. You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Da Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, hey Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth, dude. Oh, man, do, do I owe you? Cause I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know. Car mods, low riders, all that shit. You damn? You polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like so far gone, man. What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid.
Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You watch your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Secreto Undo, Juan. You're in. Um, I gotta ask. Are they real? What? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. That was that was that was awful. Me. Um. Do you do you want to sleep with me? Uh. No. Now now you're sure about that? Yeah. Now I'm on the radio. Doesn't matter. Wow. That sounds entertaining. Don't miss the next entertaining America with Laszlo. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Okay. Well, you, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. God, Picture a pink golf scary. ball in your mind. Well, screw you too, okay, Mom. we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He can fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro guy. Good. Keep it that way. the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I will try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. The day of liberation is here. Throughout history, only the biggest and strongest survive. Being big means you're successful, and women love big men. And as a successful man, you need to feel comfortable when you're sitting down to eat. Close for the bigger man. Don't be bound by society, bogus medicine, and the media with their unhealthy focus on being skinny. Don't be constrained by trying to squeeze into a triple X. Bored of feeling like a man in a Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. We're Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. So, Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the if man you're to speak to when it comes to electronics. Fruit, <laughs> Actually, it's I'm the, the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by.